America votes. President Joe Biden's border policy figures to be front and center in next year's presidential race. But tonight, ABC 15 political reporter Mark Phillips says that issue won't wait until the general election. Democratic challenger Robert Kennedy Jr. is going after the Biden administration now. Good morning. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Yuma. In June, Robert Kennedy Jr. spent three days on Arizona's border in Yuma, talking to migrants, listening to political leaders, law enforcement officials, and representatives from social service agencies. The result is a documentary, Midnight at the Border, Kennedy's policy statement on immigration and securing the U.S. border. I started seeing immigrants um, show up on the streets and stressing the social safety net in in new york and other cities in los angeles and i wanted to see my myself what was really going on kennedy says current u.s border policy promotes drug and human trafficking while contributing to the humanitarian crisis a claim that some say is debatable i need to put uh, my distaste for donald trump aside and i need to look at this issue for you know what's true and what's not true for kennedy that means building the wall in and near populated areas and utilizing other Trump-era security measures to prevent drug and human smuggling. Motion sensors, the video cameras, the towers, the lights, they were installed and then for some bizarre reason they were removed. The political battles over immigration have left many Arizonans numb. Lots of talk, little else. Democratic political strategist Ben Shields says he isn't convinced the Kennedy documentary will impact the presidential primary, but he warns Democrats who want to win in 2024 will need to stake out their positions on immigration. I think it is important for Democratic candidates to differentiate themselves from the president um, generally speaking, and, and on this issue, especially in Arizona. President Biden has never visited the Arizona border. Yuma County Supervisor Jonathan Lines, who was featured in the documentary, said he hopes people will pay attention to the border now that Kennedy is calling out the administration. In the meantime, the Border Patrol reports the number of migrant encounters rose 33 percent in July from June. 40,000 of those encounters occurred in the Tucson sector, which was a record number. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.